Hello, my name is Carmel O'Callaghan and I am part of the local Heritage Society. In 1610, James I granted William Bailey the lands of Tonnergy. Fifteen years later, there were houses built of wood and thatched with straw, and this became Bailiborough. Our past inhabitants were very industrious. The Bailiborough name has proudly adorned our butter, brass hubcaps and Corrie's cast iron gates. Many writers have been associated with Bailiborough. On Main Street, you will find two plaques, one at the ancestral home of Henry James, the American novelist, and across the road at the birthplace of Francis Sheehy Skeffington, the noted pacifist and journalist. One of Ireland's greatest poets and playwrights, Tom McIntyre, was born here. Tom's unique contribution to the arts was lauded in this town, his town. His funeral in November 2019 brought Bailiborough to a standstill. We are truly proud of him. Mairead Donlan is our first Poet Laureate. She is a member of the Lit Lab Writers Group and her first collection will be published later this year. Congratulations, Mairead. Hello, Mairead. It's great to meet you. How did you meet Tom? Well, it's lovely to meet you too, Celine. Ah. Um, I met Tom very briefly when I was um, in my early teens. Get away. I was a student in Loretto College and um, we had a fantastic English teacher there. But um, Tom came to visit us in this classroom and he came to speak to us about poetry. I remember very clearly him speaking to us about the joy of words and how we use them right. and the importance of where we place them. Um, so some of that stayed with me and um, I suppose some of it sank in and it did. may very well have influenced me as a writer. And then he might say to you something like, what is writing? And he probably would say, it's to tell the truth and to tell it beautifully. Thank you very much, Celine, for that very sound advice. As I said, I have big boots to fill, but it's very, very nice um, for you to share that with me and very much appreciate it, thank you. It's my pleasure. Attend to your dreams. You're going to find them really interesting now. Thank you. Thrashalath. Crucible. Here is the memory of metal, pike and plowshare, pig iron and perseverance. At the turn of narrow alleyways, there is the grind of cartwheel hubs, the jingle of bridle and bit, and buried somewhere under great sycamores are famine pots, skillet pots, chamber pots. We have discarded our baths with the bath water, installed them in fields for drinking troughs, still solid as the high stools and manhole covers made to take our weight. Those who cast them live among us, carrying the brand of their origin, the alchemy of their ancestors, Sheridan, Jemison, Corrie, Clark. Although the foundry fires have died, this town spills over the rim, runs with the river into grasslands. Souls come to lay down a new vein, know they are home, when bells sound on Sunday, dependable from steeples on either side of this broad street borough.